viewers, I need to speak to you again about domestic violence, specifically the December 2018 study edition of The Watchtower. And if you haven't seen my video before, please check it out so I don't have to repeat myself about some of the horrendous advice that was given to women who may find themselves in physically abusive relationships. But suffice to say, what the article did was, which I found astonishing, it put Watchtower's policy on domestic violence, which has always been there, it's just been um, something that you've had to kind of think about and put the pieces together to truly understand what's going on. But in this article, they basically put their cards on the table and said, well, this is the situation for a woman who is in a physically abusive relationship. She needs to understand that she can never be considered free from her marital vows. The, marri the marriage continues, even if she gets a separation. And so it would be worthwhile for a woman in that situation to endure. Endurance was encouraged for women who are undergoing physical abuse. It was absolutely astonishing and I consider it to be a huge own goal by Watchtower because again it makes it easier for people like me to go to outsiders and say what are you going to say about this? What's going to be done about this? And I'll get to uh, that, the whole issue of what the outside community is doing later. But in this video I want to give a call to action and this relates to a phone conversation I've just had today with Alex Uden who is Deputy Head of Investigations at the Charity Commission. Now viewers in America uh, might not be entirely sure what the Charity Commission is. It's nothing like the Australian Royal Commission. Um, the Australian Royal Commission was set up to deal with um, institutional responses to child sex abuse over a finite period of time. The Charity Commission is not for a finite period, it's indefinitely and it regulates all charities in England and Wales. Um, the Charity Commission has already been looking at Jehovah's Witnesses, especially its uh, issues surrounding child safeguarding. Um, but they're now interested, uh, from what I can tell, in the domestic violence issue due to the Watchtower that was published, the December 2018 Watchtower. And the Charity Commission would like to hear from women in England and Wales. I wish it could be from more jurisdictions. I, I wish it could be women from all over the world, but we have to understand that this is again, a, a governmental body that deals with um, one particular uh, area or jurisdiction, this jurisdiction being England and Wales. They want to hear from survivors of domestic abuse who have reported concerns to a trustee, in other words, an elder, who've reported concerns to a trustee or trustees of a charity connected to Jehovah's Witnesses. Bear in mind, in England and Wales, all congregations are considered charities. And who believe that the advice that they received was harmful. Or anyone else who may have experience of how the teachings outlined in the article have been promoted in charities connected with the Jehovah's Witnesses in England and Wales. So to cut a long story short, if you have experience specific, not specifically, especially experience related to an elder giving you this advice, okay? So if you're an abused um, spouse who's received this appalling advice directly from elders who are trustees of their local congregation, the Charity Commission needs to hear from you. Now it could be that you're a domestic violence uh, survivor where it's maybe not as clear-cut as that, you just 
you just know that this material um, is going to have a bad impact on you or is having or you can speak to the fact that it's um, that domestic violence is an issue within the Jehovah's Witness community and that this kind of advice is the reason why it's more of an issue by all means contact the charity commission you don't need to contact me I'm not any kind of middleman here I'm just putting the word out um, you can contact the charity commission at this email address that I'm showing now so this is the email address you need to contact Alternatively, you can send a letter to the Charity Commission and here is the address that you can send your letter to on this issue. Now, it was made clear to me that this is, if it's an issue where there is, um, where people are at risk, where someone needs to be prosecuted, uh, the Charity Commission isn't a prosecuting authority, so they can't deal with um, matters where someone needs to get arrested, basically. So if you're in a direct danger or you know of people who are in direct danger from an abusive spouse, you really need to contact the police. This is dealing specifically with Jehovah's Witnesses. And again, every congregation of Jehovah's Witnesses in England and Wales is a charity, is its own charity. And we need to know how the trustees of those charities, in other words, elders, how they are uh, implementing this policy when it comes to domestic violence. So the Charity Commission needs to hear from you. I can talk about this all day. I can make videos about it and explain how ethically it's it's appalling but basically my words ring hollow unless people come forward and say not only is this happening but it's happened to me and here's my story so that's basically the call to action and um, I just wanted to offer the quick caveat that um, I, I have my reservations about about the, well, about the Charity Commission insofar as I don't see how it is remotely plausible that an organisation like Watchtower can be considered a charity in the 21st century despite all of the abuse it exports out in terms of shunning, in terms of covering up child abuse, in terms of its domestic violence policy in terms of persuading people to die rather than accept blood. I can't conceive of how an organisation that puts it, that implements those policies could remotely meet the criteria of a charity, which by definition has to do good, has to do good to people, and not just do good to its own members, but do good to the broader community. And I've expressed those concerns before to the Charity Commission, I feel as though it's just something where perhaps laws need to change so that it's harder for uh, an organisation like Watchtower to get away with this, which I think, that, I think that's an accurate way of describing it. They really are getting away with this at the moment. But having said all that, uh, I was very, very impressed with Alex and I feel as though the Charity Commission are doing fantastic work to the extent that they can. I feel as though they have all the best intentions. They want to do whatever they can to reduce the harm that this kind of material will have. So to that extent, as I've always said, we need to get behind what they're doing and whatever they're doing is better than doing nothing, basically. So they're certainly not doing nothing, they're doing something. And if we can help them, we absolutely should. Now, I realise the vast majority of people who watch this video will not be able to contact the Charity Commission. But what you can do is you can share this video elsewhere on social media. Maybe by sharing it, someone will watch it who is able to answer this call to action and who is able to contact the Charity Commission and give them 
the relevant information so that this can be pursued. Um, if you follow me on Twitter, you'll notice that I'm currently running a bit of a campaign so that I, I just frankly cannot understand how there are domestic violence charities in the United Kingdom, namely Refuge and Women's Aid, who so far have said nothing. And Women's Aid actually tweeted me back uh, a few days ago and said, thank you, Lloyd, we're going to look into it. Still no official word from them. I've actually been criticised, believe it or not, for having this campaign with people saying, oh, you shouldn't be troubling these charities, Lloyd. Uh, these are charities that look after uh, abused women and they do great work and who are you to be hounding them? And yes, they are doing fantastic work to help vulnerable women in these situations. But guess what? Jehovah's Witness women in abusive relationships, they deserve help too. And the issue I have, and I feel it's a reasonable issue, is that if Watchtower is allowed to write this material in a magazine, the circulation of which, by the way, is 13.8 million. So a phenomenal distribution of the, just the printed version of this magazine. If Watchtower can literally have the freedom to write down its domestic violence policy so clearly and so brazenly without there being any response whatsoever from any of the domestic violence charities, whether they are in the UK or in America or Canada or Australia or wherever, if they are met with silence despite writing such appalling material, what message do you think that sends a, to abused Jehovah's Witness spouses, and B, to Watchtower. I would argue that the message that's being sent to abused spouses is, you're on your own. And the message that's being sent to Watchtower is, please proceed. You can just say whatever you like, and no one's going to give a damn. You can literally write the most grotesque material possible telling uh, vulnerable women to stay in abusive relationships and no one will say anything. You just go right ahead. So that's why I'm without apology when it comes to my Twitter campaign. And if you can join me uh, by retweeting or sharing my tweets or, put, or, your, or putting your own pressure on these organisations, I think that's a noble thing. Um, I don't think it's acceptable in the 21st century for an organization to be telling millions or at least potentially millions of vulnerable men and women in abusive relationships that they should endure, that they should just stick it out and muddle through because you know what, you, you're responsible for this situation for getting into this relationship to begin with it's a relationship that has to continue forever and can only end if there is adultery, which is essentially what the policy is. So that's my call to action. Again, even if it doesn't apply to you, you can still do something by sharing this video. And who knows, maybe it might be seen by the right person who can share their story. Um, I wish I was, you, you can probably tell I'm still not quite firing on all cylinders. Uh, I'm still uh, battling with this flu thing that's been going around, but I needed to get this video out. And uh, incidentally, on a completely different subject, if you're one of those people who's saying, where is your rebuttal to the September JW Broadcasting episode? I'm working on it. I know about it. Believe me, I'm on it, okay? I just need to deal with it in my, process it all in my own kind of time frame. Um, and the illness hasn't helped. But anyway, that's essentially what I have for you. I also want to continue to do more on domestic violence to the extent I can. I've already spoken to some um, predominantly women who have dealt with this, but I intend to speak to more 
because I, I genuinely believe that the issue of domestic violence among Jehovah's Witnesses doesn't get nearly enough exposure. So I'm just going to do whatever I can. And it's encouraging, isn't it, to think that even if they may have limitations due to uh, you know, legal issues or, or the law not being sufficiently sophisticated, it's nice to know that government bodies like the Charity Commission are taking notice and they are at least doing something. And if we can help them, we absolutely should. So that's all I have for you. I hope you found this video useful. Please don't forget to subscribe for more videos. And as always, Thank you for watching.